Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2025 Grand Design Reflection model number 295 RL with a new interior refresh. We're going to get to it there. Weighs around 90, 9,200 pounds. I'm here like I was there, and I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer, on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Please don't look that up. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. Boom! Grand Design's done it again. They've gone and done some upgrades. This looks fantastic. You're going to be excited when you see the inside. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're on Pinterest. Follow us along there as well. Enjoy this trailer. You know what my favorite color is, eh, Brennan? Grand design. Grand design, baby. <laughs> Great looking front fiberglass cap. It's painted here at the front. We got a nice LED light down below it, just lighting up where you're hooking up. We've got the current turning point hitch. That's a pretty cool feature because it lets you hook up to this, this trailer with a five and a half foot box and not have to put any kind of sliding hitch in your truck. We got a rougher style storage in here at the front. We have a, a double battery and box carrier now. Um, you know, previously it was a single. We've got our inverter, or sorry, our uh, converter out and through here, battery disconnect, solar disconnect, and a 60 amp charge controller. For the second half of 2024 and moving forward into 2025, we're gonna have propane tanks, 30 pounders on either side, a new uh, pass-through storage floor in through here, just a little more rugged. Our auto leveling controls are to the left, and then to your right there is where your uh, convenience center is, gate valves, city water connection, black water flush kit, outside receptacle, outside shower little uh, motion sense of light in there too and then right here is our on-demand Furion water heater furnace vent in through here 50 amp detachable style cord and then 15 inch Goodyear tires more ride Cree 3000 suspension tire pressure monitoring system built in and ABS brakes tell your friends pretty freaking fantastic that leg is just down a little bit too far it's not usually that close to the ground we've got dual rack and pinion style slides double rack and pinion baby we've got our class three receiver here at the back with a four-way wiring roof ladder get up on your roof check your seals every 90 days that's a one-piece roof which is all like my grandmother's bathing suits and we're also prepped up here for a backup camera window across the back windows down the door side we've got our sewer hose carrier in through here an outside receptacle outside cable spots you can actually put an outside tv here if you wanted to our electric awning starts here covers these big windows ends right about there our main awning is here going the rest of the way forward both of them have led lights in them we got this nice secure step all the way to the ground grab it, grab handle in through here it's a little bit droopy for your shoulder folks screen defender the other side of our pass through and then slides are still closed here, B, so let's go take a look what kind of travel access we have. It's pretty freaking fantastic if you ask me. So we can easily get to our fridge here and we can easily get to our bathroom and bedroom up and through there. Let's get this guy opened up. Right on folks, we're inside that 295 RL. We've got it opened up and through here. Interior refresh, so basically we have a different color island now for you know 2025. A little bit different countertop as well, same kind of idea. And then the big update here is this new furniture. Last year was more like a, like a medium gray. Now it's uh, tan, is that what you call that? Cream? Yeah, cream. Yeah, cream in through there. Really, really nice stuff. It does just brighten up in here a little bit, which is fantastic. The furniture itself is very, very comfortable. We've got the uh, reclining action in through here. And then in between, we can flip this over, have a cup holder, and there's a little spot there you can charge your cell phone, plug in a USB on the side there. I'm sitting in the theater seats. I'm facing the uh, TV location right in through there. And behind me are windows facing our campsite, which is great. And then we got that Franken booth, which is like your two-seater uh, two chairs. Also an ottoman that's going to pull out in through there. You can pull that ottoman over top of, or pull that ottoman over here in front of the couch, which is cool. And then have a chair on either side. You'll notice there's no uh, table legs in underneath that table too. So it's nice and easy to slide in and out. And then we do have the roller shades throughout the model as well. Just blocking things right out. And then here at the back, we've got our tri-fold style sofa. It's gonna pull out lengthwise. You're sleeping two people here as long as they're in love. We got receptacles on both sides, uh, couch side tables and couch side cubbies. Windows across the back, 
cupboard space here across the top. All this stuff is held in by magnets, which is great. And then new update as well is they've actually finally added on storage here and behind our TV. So last year it was just kind of dead space, but now we got these nice little cubby holes in behind there. We've got a radio right here. And then cupboard space on either side of the radio as well. Down below, we're gonna have our electric fireplace, putting out some electric heat. Nice big drawer, skinny cupboards. And then moving into our kitchen now, we've got our pantry location, bingo bango. Uh, oh, adjustable shelves, B. That's nice, eh? That's cool. Yeah, that's new LED light stripping through there. And then we do have great amount of counter space on either side of our three burner stove top. So if you're taking something off or putting something on, it's a little bit easier. Double receptacles here, oversized microwave, and then smaller cupboards here on either side of the microwave. Double cutlery drawers on either side. Cupboard, cupboard, and then a pot and pan drawer down in through here. And then our island was redesigned last year for the second half, uh, but the, you know the new color on it is really really nice. We get four regular size drawers. I was kind of hoping for a second drawer there. Three down the left hand side, garbage can location in through here. I like how they finished this off. And then we've got big cover space down in through there. Undermount stainless steel sink, pull out faucet, seamless counters throughout. And then going further this way, we have our 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge. That fridge is running off the battery, battery being charged off the solar panel that's on the roof. And that, you know, with that charge controller being, you know, 60 amps, Brennan, you can really upgrade the solar in through there without upgrading the solar charge controller. Covered space here, shelf, more of the same there, more of the same there, double receptacles here too. More drawers. Fantastic stuff. Feeling good about this one, Brandon? Yeah. Okay, brother. Anything we're missing here in the living space? No, I think we, we do. Have it. Well, we do have a fantastic fan in the ceiling. This, okay. This one has an optional second AC. Really? Mm hmm. Huh. You notice there's no uh, nail holes in the slide out face anymore? It's pretty. Yeah, nice and clean. They're just putting one nail here in the top just to hold that piece into place while it gets glued on, but you're not gonna see those wood fill marks down there anymore. Uh, heading up the stairs into the uh, bathroom bedroom area, we do have a porcelain style toilet. Dump truck fits in through here. Seamless counter, three drawers down the right hand side. A cupboard here in the center. Medicine cabinet. This is a new color too, eh? Yeah, this whole bathroom is a different color. Sweet. And then up into the shower, I'm six feet tall. I fit in the shower quite easily. Nice glass shower doors, oversized shower head. There's no skylight here anymore, but there is still that recess with a light in through there. And then heading further forward into the bedroom, we got a 60 by 80 inch queen. One of the things that the 150 series has always done great is big windows here in the bedroom. So look at the size of that window and this window. We have way less carpet than we used to as well. This is all linoleum floor up and through here. We've got cupboard space here, all the way across the top, shelf across the top, USBs on either side, receptacles on either side, and then good looking lights on either side too. And then over here, we're gonna have our wardrobe space, double drawer action, and then right in through there, a spot for the slippers, eh, Brennan? That's clever. All right, man. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.